Wait, sorry. <laughs> right, <laughs> hello there, uh, hello there everyone, and good evening. Welcome to the channel. I just got my intro completely wrong, but who cares? Uh, I am Tony KM, and tonight is the final night of Halloween special. <laughs> um, as I've said throughout the week, um, I won't actually be streaming on Halloween proper. I'm not going to in regards to my laptop. Um, I. What do I think? I've completely lost myself now. Uh, I will not be streaming on laptop proper. Uh, on laptop. On Halloween proper because of uh, previous plans. Uh, I'll be doing my yearly horror movie marathon. Um, just like I say, yearly tradition. Uh, but tonight, uh, in the finale, so so far we've played our last two over the course of like two and a half nights. Uh, I then played uh, Little Nightmares, the main game, in the second half of the. Um, I'm just going to play some of the music down a little bit on this. Um, of the third night. I then played on night four, which was the last night. I played the Little Nightmare Secrets of the Moor DLC, did all three chapters of that, really enjoyed that, and got a lot better version at the end. And tonight we are I'm playing uh, Prey Moon Crush, which is the DLC for Prey, which I played a few months ago. Um, I will then take a two day break, uh, because I have plans tomorrow. The main screen, just in case. Oh no, it's still doing the intro, that's fine. Um, so, also, I've got plans tomorrow. I won't be streaming on Friday, uh, just giving myself a one night break. Uh, I will then be streaming again on Saturday, and I will be playing um, Dishonored, which won the most recent poll. <laughs> with an entire two votes <laughs> on my Discord channel. Um, so I'll be playing Dishonored, after which I'll play, play Dishonored 2. It depends on any other releases, because I'm hoping to pick up um, Death Stranding. I really want to play Death Stranding, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it, stuff like that. So we'll, we'll look into that. Um, but yeah, Dishonored will be the next one. Uh, and that will be starting on Saturday at 7pm. Uh, so let's just get into this now, shall we? So I don't really know much about this DLC, um, other than the fact that it was actually quite expensive. <laughs> um, so let's see. Prey fans! Prey Moon Crash has everything you loved in Prey. The gameplay, narrative, and atmosphere, but with an exciting twist. In Moon Crash, you'll be making repeated runs through an ever changing simulation of the Pythias moon base. Each run will present new combinations of enemies, hazards, and loot. Oh, Shit. It's randomly generated. You might die a lot, but you'll also go stronger and unlock new characters and gear to face these challenges. We hope you'll enjoy covering the mysteries of Pythias, what happened to its crew, and how to escape with your life. As always, thanks for playing our games. Pray Dev Team Arcane Austin. Well, this could be intriguing. Now entering the satellite. So, obviously, it's not set on the same base as the main game, because that was Talos. My laptop is just a little bit. There we go. It was cutting off the pom pom of my uh, Final Fantasy XIV post removal. I also seem really close to the top of the screen. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're not playing as Morgan U either. Ooh, this is I have touched it. Hello. This is Basilisk to Gasmo Module 13. 
We are sending two classified pieces of technology we recovered from Transtar's moon base. They should be arriving in a few moments. Transtar's moon base. One is an operator containing a backup of the base. It's a simulation of all the research data, company secrets, and connectomes from employee brains. We picked you because it's protected by a lot of encryption. So, I'm Fortunately, it comes with a looking glass visor, so you'll be able to search the sim visually. You'll be plugging into the moon base as it was, seeing it through the personnel that was stationed there. There's a lot to do. I'm sending your orders along so you can check them off as you go. Oh, and congratulations. I am pleased to inform you that executing these orders will fulfill your contract. After you recover the data, we're going to pick you up. So great news. You'll be with family soon. <laughs> okay, M13, you're the expert. The delivery is dogging now, so I'll leave you to it. Transport craft African PKTL-17, commencing docking procedure. Please stand by to receive payload. Install the simulation visor on the satellite chair. Okay. I need to remember the controls for this, so. Crouch, jump. I should just look at the controls, shouldn't I? That's psi ability, weapon, so transcribe, weapons, interact, aim, movement. Okay, so flashlight and then right click selects. <laughs> Excerpt from a book about indentured servitude by Kung Mo Jackson. The Rise of Corporations, discussed in such books as Pure Evil by Tracy Webb and Your Numbers Up by John Johnson, discuss many challenges to humanism in a world driven by profit. What even these social scientists didn't see coming was a new way of collecting bargaining based on relinquishing innate human rights in exchange for better benefits, wages, pensions, and lifestyles. Shockingly, I don't have a milkshake. I need to buy some. I didn't realise I had my last milkshake last night. So I'm um, I'm enjoying this uh, good spot for finding ingredients. So I have tea, basically. <laughs> A trend in employee contracts, especially among exciting high-profile companies like Transstar, now on board recruits via enticements and compensation offered nowhere else. But the clauses lurking in these contracts provide for punitive debts which the employee must pay the company should he or she fail to meet plan. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. I went to grab I, I went to grab one of uh, my drinks and I didn't have one. I just didn't pay attention. This can lead to a state of indentured servitude, which the contract gags the employee from discussing and prohibiting arbitration against. And that's it. I um I should have realised as well because very stupidly, uh, I made um, the um, I've made the base of my uh, chocolate on truffles today. Uh, well, this afternoon, like in the last about four o'clock, and I had to put it in the fridge for it to um, to set. And didn't even think about the fact there was no milkshakes in there. Hang on. Oh my god. There's a, se there's a second um, cycle of the Starbender. Okay. Excerpt from the Starbender Saga. Saga? Saga. Cycle 2, The Cronus Chronicle, Book 1, Rebirth from the Star Room by Fletcher McLean Marvin. 
a crash like a train made of screams running headlong into a school full of glass children. Trevor Pulsar winced as the deafening sound blinded him. Sticky. Trevor was sticky and ached from head to boot. Yes, chocolate orange truffles. Uh, my plan is to roll them obviously into balls, like a normal truffle, but I'm then going to squash it slightly so it's a bit more oblong, and then dip that into melted white chocolate, which I will dye orange, and then draw little jack o' lantern faces on them so they'll look like little jack o' lanterns. Where was he? How was he even alive? As his eyes slowly adjusted, his brain began to lurch and spin into action. The Dark Star Anomaly, Empress Tourmaline, the Starbender Prism. He remembered Tourmaline's words as the galaxy split between them. Find me, Pulsar! Find the prism! As Trevor finally heaved himself upright, what he saw confirmed his fears. A cracked stone tower jutting against a roiling medieval sky as dragons wheeled overhead. I've been sent back in time, Trevor sighed. Well, tough bitch, they're mine. Well, if they turn out. I haven't made truffles since year eight foodek. So that was like 20 years ago. <laughs> right, so that needs power. Ooh. They changed the colour scheme of the computers in this DLC. It's, um,. It's red instead of blue. Uh, so anyway, reminder. This is just a friendly reminder. Oper Operate the whole more. I can't even read now. Operative shall diligently pursue to the company's reasonable satisfaction completion of the data acquisition in accordance with the contract schedule. Failure to meet satisfaction will extend said contract for a duration equal to time lost by the company plus reasonable damages and or penalties. Such damages and penalties are not eligible for arbitration. Please keep this in mind as we move towards the end of your contract with Casmacorp. I know you are looking forward to seeing family again, and a step back at this point would be unfortunate. Gross. <laughs> no, actually that sounds really nice. <laughs> Nice work up there. Despite the cost, we've dispatched delivery to you, including a flower from your wife's garden back home. Everyone appreciates your hard work, including me. You're really chipping away at that contract. I like that this is a slightly more, like, industrial look. Nothing beats the Cream Egg McFlurry. Cream Egg McFlurry is my jam. Um, I'm liking all the tattoos. It just reminds you that he's different from all the new. Oh, before I do anything, I should... So I'm just going to look at the trophies for this. I know I haven't platinum trophy prey, but... Um... My PS4 appears to have frozen. Oh, hang on. There we go. Sort of.
I feel like I should probably go back to the game just in case, but I just thought there no go. <laughs> So every year more path every character. Unlock all five single characters. Finish the game in a surplus at five thousand sim points. Fifty thousand sim points. Damage three enemies in a single sight static cutter projectile. All story objectives. All the star bender series. Defeat a moon shark. Glue three enemies in a single glue charge. Beagle camera order. Escape the simulation with all five playable characters in a single run. So there are five characters that you can play as. Oh yeah, the peanut m, &M not ones in France are absolutely amazing. Um. Right, so, we can only play as a volunteer for now, Andreas Alekna. Andreas's mind is brimming with psychic potential waiting to be unlocked, but repeat exposure to neurotechnology has left his body frail. As the last volunteer test subject on the Pythias moon base, Andreas hopes to escape and see his young son again. So, kinetic blast, super thermal, backlash, but... Oh shit, okay, so he has abilities that I never even used um, as Morgan because I didn't learn any of the he alien powers. So the story objective is to escape with the volunteer through the mimic portal to unlock their story objective. He comes with a team action and a psi hypo. With only, oh geez, only 75 health and 100 psi. I'm curious, how about just compared to everyone else? Riley you. Did they mention O'Reilly in the main game? Obviously there was us, our brother, and the parents. Did they ever mention O'Reilly? So we need to collect the psychoscope for, to unlock her. And she really has the reverse stats of our first character. And someone who's all health and barely no psi. <laughs> so, to unlock him, find security officer VJ Batia's corpse. And we have to finish the story with him to unlock her. Oh, Jesus, I'm guessing she'll be difficult to play as a level unlocker. She's got no abilities, no equipment, no psi powers, and no abilities to learn. Right, let's start. We're going to start with him anyway. I'm glad it wasn't just me thinking about it. So, uh, main objective, escape the moon. Story objective, escape the volunteer through the mimic portal to unlock their story objective. So we experience all of this as a simulation, which obviously spoilers for anyone who hasn't actually played Prey. Play was just a giant simulation. I was trying to think if I remember Riley ever being mentioned.
this might take longer to load than the main game. Um, I don't think you were here when I discovered, when I was reading the description for it, all of the enemy and item placements are randomly generated. Uh, from the sounds of it, I could be wrong from the sounds of it, I think if you die, you have to restart. There's no um, checkpointing and it refreshes everything. I could be wrong, but that's what it sounded like to me. Oops, no, I didn't tell you to screen, stupid. Sorry. Attention all Titan's crew members. This is an emergency broadcast. Please report to designated escape pod stations and prepare for evacuation. If you are unable to reach an escape pod, security will track your position as they conduct a final sweep before launching. Like, why not delicious has the distinction of being the first edible systems created in a fabricator? Oh, there's fireworks going off. Oh, wrenchy wrench. We all know how much I love my wrenchy. Whoops. Oh, okay, so the key card and some fabrication plans. like it. Typhon material detected. Uh, we just... I don't have a proxy. So we might we might hear a lot of some fireworks going over. These are new breeds of mimics. That was a thermal mimic. Oh shit, I'm losing health already.
Typhon Gates. Typhon Gates create an impassable force field when they detect the presence of Typhon or Typhon material. Use the control terminal to mark any nearby Typhon. With enough Typhon ability installed, you will register the Typhon by the Typhon Gate. Oh, sorry, Piggy, you said you like that. Sorry girls, do you not, not like those noises? Hey. still hear it, but it sounds more muffled, I think. I'm sorry, Pigs, I can't silence it any more than that for you. Me? I'm sorry. So is that actually working or not? Does that mean there's no Typhon nearby? Yeah, they really were loud. Look at me with my uh... low grab. I don't have um... I don't have a jet pack though. More serious matters, however. Is this the Monica the Mars stream? 
Yes, we are currently watching Veronica Mars. Let's do is a lot apple. Wait, what? Traumas? Wait, what? What, 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 what? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> the Veronica Mars page stream. This is new, okay. Um, some types of damage you sustain will result in serious trauma. To remove a trauma, visit a medical operator and use the appropriate pharmaceutical. Am I drunk by any chance? Yep. Oh, that's cool. When you're drunk, you do more damage. There's actually a bonus to uh, being drunk. Oh, hang on, did I see another day in that? Rock. Mandy Ballard, let's take her bullets and her used plastic tubing. Pills to clear your mind and really affects a concussion. Ooh, Neuromod. Okay, we know how Neuromods work. Ooh! Okay. So, um, basically use Neuromods ASAP. Because abilities are saved after simulation reset, but neuro mod mods aren't. Right, we're going to start by doubling the effects of eating food.
Um, uh, the, 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 the blonde one, the, um, the writer, the journalist one. Um, he... No, he isn't. I think he's in college. I'm sure he went to college after season two. He was like, you know, the old one of the group. I remember recycler charges. I hear a mimic. I can hear a mimic. Okay, let's go to the Titan gate. Yeah, there's four Titans in the area. Oh shit, does that mean I can't go through? So it creates a force field that we can't penetrate until after we get rid of the... Uh... Titan material detected. too far. <laughs> I actually kind of like this system. Because I can see them, I can like charge up my um, my wrench hit. It's definitely making mimics less scary. <laughs> I 
Where do I find out my sim points? I want to find out how many points I have. So I can pass through here now. I hear one of the, um, I forget what they're called, but the Typhons that I don't like. <laughs> Kill towers are working. Typhoon rumors are still our best bet for drawing them away from the gates. I already put a request in for the lab techs to fabricate more. Oh! Is that, um. Oh, that's Michael Chung. Their parts are used for, um, yeah, repairing shit. I'm not liking the fact that I can hear it right now but not see it. I'll feel more comfortable when I can see it. Oh, is this part of the simulation not available? That's kind of cool. That's like how um, the old Assassin's Creed games used to prevent you from going to areas you couldn't go to and glitch out. What was that that just fell? Is 
the good news is I can't hear the um, I forgot what the name of that um, is it a phantom? I don't really have the gear to take on um, corrupted drones at the moment. Yeah, Tony is really hot this season. <laughs> Ivy Tony. <laughs> So harvest is nice. No. <laughs> it just said no. Hello. I just heard a science operator. Where's the science operator? Oh shit, where's the phantom? Oh shit, it knows I'm here. Why isn't it letting me... Why isn't it letting me climb through this vent? That's just wasted my...
Okay. So I'm not entirely sure what just happened. <laughs> Oh fuck, the phantom's in there as well. I wonder if I can kill the phantom using the Sistorians. I don't want to die so soon. <laughs> Have a health a med kit, yes I do. Oh my god, I managed to kill a phantom using only my wrench. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh that just felt good. Frickin' gonna take my baby! Set up some uh, favorites. Wait, skins? Oh my god, you can customize the weapons. Let's go for engraved steel. Let's make that one Transtar. Oh my god, the wrench has skins as well. We're gonna make that engraved steel. Oh my god, look at it. Oh shit, there's some Sistoids there. Um, do I have something I can throw? charge. Yes, there will be. Oh, fuck.
<laughs> Gonna say that's Valerian. So, where is. Forgotten his name. Begins with a V, I think. If we locate him, we unlock another character. So there's an operator dispenser. Uh, check the availability of escape pod located across the moon base. Uh, so there's one in the crater. Hazard report. Check the moon base for hazardous conditions. Everything has power, nominal radiation, nominal oxygen, no fire hazards. Run status, operational, supply status, storage room, engineering annex, and trauma center. So there's a storage room very nearby. So I think that's what I'm gonna. Ah, the storage room is through this corridor. Which is blocked off, because of course it is. Right, let's get an engineer out. Requesting new operator. Transfer, call back, captain, in inspecting. Your suit's numbered to the world. There we go, just fix my suit. No, that, that's the medical examiner who does that. <laughs> the engineering one just checks the level of your suit. I mean, I wouldn't mind finding a medical operator right now. Sound of nearby Typhon. Corrupted. Right, we have a fabricator. I have a pistol. Suit repair kit. I don't have any materials to make it. I have no materials to make anything. Isn't there a defabricator? Usually no a fabricator, there's usually Oh Why 
Why is there a deep on the table? Are you okay, Daddy? Oh, Dad. I can't whack it through that. Volunteer test notes. Release 02A.04. Subject enters crater 1459. Low light conditions. Initial movement is tentative and uncertain. Remains near airlock. Airlock? What accent is this? <laughs> Remains near airlock for five minutes. Decides to cross crater at 1505, presumably to check other airlocks. Typhon notices subject approximately 10 meters from airlock. Subject expires moments later due to standard attack by a malformed airway. Release 02B.01. Subject enters crater 1023. Light conditions good. Subject rests on haunches and back against more wall one meter from airlock. Subject does not move for approximately one hour. Remains unnoticed. At 11.37, small typhon arrives at airlock. Test typhon gate notices subject. Subject expires moments later. Papers. Wait, there is a recycler opposite the fabricator. Oh, yeah, there it is. How did I miss that? Uh, let's get rid of. All of that jazz. I literally can't make anything other than a fucking silenced pistol. I'd quite like to make a suit repair kit, but I can't, so... I can see a few phantoms. Have some disintegrating ice. <laughs> right, I want to... Oh, he's in that place I can't go to. So I must be able to unlock that to go into. Blue charge! So it's not quite a um, glue cannon. I like the glue cannon. Why do I get the feeling knowing this power room is going to come in handy? Because it's not letting me interact with it in any way.
Hello. Wait, I just hear a science operator. Yeah, hello science operator. Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Emujo. <laughs> she wants to give me that prime healing. Spotted me. Some oh, that corrupted engineering unit. <laughs> Missing no. <laughs> trying to kill me. <laughs> Going around ripping cops off. <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a motherfucking cock destroyer. <laughs> You're a soy destroyer. Bollocks. There better be something up here after I've climbed all the way up here. Yes, there is. The Huntress Bolt cast that. And the cycle charge. <laughs> Why don't you then? Just be like, oh no, this accidentally fell into my pocket. Whoopsie daisy. Oh. Oh no, that's just the uh. And 
engineering unit I that slept. Right, so I can't go into the lab yet. Okay, that's where that's where the DJ is. I don't need that new wrench. Ooh, supplies. I feel like I should destroy that medical unit. Get your fat ass down here. Oh shit. I didn't realise it had a long range uh, zapper attack. Ah, fuck. Is there a way to get on top of it? Anything up here? Nope. <laughs> Ooh, neuromods, neuromods, neuromods. Alright, I'm going to have to be careful about how many neuromods I install.
Um, kind of trying. Oh, the interface. I can't comment on the interface. I've never actually played Dead Island. Um, this is a Bethesda game, so it's probably going to be buggy as hell at some point. I don't think I actually encountered any major bugs when I played the main one, but honestly, Bethesda, it's got to be buggy at some point. I kind of love the fact that there's no fall damage in, in this because we're on the moon. Oh, I have a disruptor stun gun. Yes. Okay, these things are absolutely badass against the um, electronic shit. Casey, pro tip for you. I got stuck on the wrong side of a typhoon gate the other day. Phantom was in my ass until I figured out I could zap the sensor with my stun gun. I guess we should tell engineering, but then they fix it. VJ. So, I could zap it with this. Um. But, let's try and do things properly. Uh, right, if it looks like I'm going to die, I will quickly use that Neuromod, but I'm not going to use it just for the sake of using it. Um, I need to set the Disrupted Gun. Let's give it Chasma Corp. Uh, I'm going to assign that as my pistol replacer for now. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was powerful.
Holy shit. I never used the um the powers in the main game because there was a um a trophy for finishing it without ever using one of the powers. So I never used any of the alien powers. That was wonderful. <laughs> Oh, to heal burns. Alright, let's pick up the spare gun. We're gonna go back to the um Where the fabricator is. The recycler or the fabricator. Which is up there, I think. Was it up there? It was in the centre of the fucking area anyway. Another body. Uh, how about I use that? Started, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, let's just go kill this bitch over here. Oh, let's use my disruptor. Why is it not doing anything? Security operator. Alright, let's go to the smart floor anyway.
I'm gonna get rid of all the shit that I don't need. I wonder if this whole low gravity thing was done um, in response to uh, the main game. Because traversing became a lot more fun once I had the jetpack and I could just like jump from high heights and not worry about it. <laughs> I was only throwing myself off of everything. Alright, let's get rid of all the junk. And also... The spare wrench. And the spare gun. I want that science operator from the roof. How the fuck do I get onto the roof? Science operator, get your ass down here, please. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, never mind. Um, have I killed everything that it needs me to kill so I can go through the gate? We're going to set you up outside of here. Detected. Deceased, you are immolated. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
You die, but don't threat. Dying is expected part of exploring the moon by simulation. If you have more crew members available, you can continue exploring where you left off. Otherwise, the simulation will be set so you can start in your run. Progress you've made, such as earning some points for the government, is always preserved. Oh, fuck, I've got to start again. That was my own fault. I was an idiot. So, but apparently it says it saves your... Oh shit, I can start with a pretty decent... okay. Starting. Oh, that just really pissed me off. That was me being a complete idiot. So now everything that I've just done is completely invalidated. I wouldn't mind, but I was playing it so cautiously, I completely forgot that the game does explosives. Right, we'll try and play this a little bit less cautiously. Because I've got more shit now. So it looks like this room is always the same. Oh, it only sent right, so you don't have to redo all of the um the objectives. Okay. So 
So the objectives aren't repeated. You you just carry, you just go back to the beginning of the simulation. Okay. Okay. Go to the exit, find out where the mimics are that I need to kill. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that jump that time. Oops, still one left. Fuck, it hit me then. Need to go to the. I'm gonna need to go to that control tower, where the security workstation. Where's the phantom? Beautiful. One obliterated phantom. And it has a shotgun on it. What the fuck? <laughs> right. 
so. Shotgun, we will give it Tronstar Lock. Wrench, we will give it Engraved Steel. Huntress Bowcaster. Ooh, Chasm Core. In fact, let's use the boat. Uh, this will come in handy with the cystoids. Another way into Yes there is through Pythias Labs to get to the other side, okay. So I'm assuming this is all the same as last time. Oh, there's another cystoid nest. That's not what I meant to do just then, but oh well. It works, so who am I to bitch? Let's There's no mix up here. Maybe <laughs> thinks they can kill me. 
create a supply room. I think I have everything I can have right now. I'm gonna use a recycler in a second. I'll just run around there, make sure there's only up here. Recycle that. Uh, let's get rid of all the junk. And the spare gun, the spare bolt caster, the two spare shotguns. That's everything. Gonna get anything yet? Right, where did I come from? Okay, so this way. Skeletal repair kit then. Okay, so that's a new fabrication plan. Come here. Come okay, on. So I'm trying to approach this a little bit less cautiously so I can quickly catch up to where I was. Which to be fair, I think I've nearly done. Two suit repair kits, that's nice. Right, so I need to climb up this bit. I'll um, go on a break in a minute so that we can get drinks or whatever else 
Maybe tickling funsies. I got a great big combine harvester. Okay, so there's two of them up there. Scan shows no sign of piety is an impractical solution. The sewer's still broken. Where was I able to climb up onto the other one but not this one? Running diagnostic. <laughs> Once I've gotten to um, the next hyphen gate and I know how many things are in the area, that's when I will pause to go make a drink. So yeah, so it really is random there's nothing up here this time. Oh shit, I forgot to um, get the ship. Oh well. I'm not going all the way back to the beginning. I forgot there was a little secret chamber up above the... Um, Oh shit, yeah, that's one I didn't use last time before I died. <laughs>
Alright, so I will be able to go through that gate now, so let's just um, quickly finish exploring the environment. No, I haven't. So what does burn do? Reduce my own power. Jesus, there's still another one up there. Dennis, there we go. Um, <sighs> Q beam. I will willingly get rid of something to Go back to the recycler. Do want that glue charge though.
Right, we'll get that glue charge, as soon as I have that glue charge, I don't want a five minute break to go make a drink. Completely arbitrary. Um... This really doesn't leave me with much space. Skeletal repair kit. A collagen construction kit to repair broken bones, tendon damage. So get rid of the okay, the crippled <laughs> status. I definitely haven't got any repeat items, have I? Nope. Right, okay, so, time to have a five minute break, and then carry on with this game. So, catch you all on the other side. Uh, you better not be asking for treats, my little pigs. I gave you a treat when I started streaming. My little piggy monsters.
do I have any Nero ones from Crazy Inventory Size? Turn the font on the countdown, my very basic countdown that I made on Half Reflect. Um, I just realized it looks very Crash Bandicoot, but it's actually taken from Super Mario uh, World. Alright, back to it. I forgot how much I really like the music in this game. Right, now this is where I died last time. Let's not make the same stupid mistake that I made. I don't have any, um, I don't have a glue gun with which to block off fires. Increases the damage of all side attacks, so may as well install that for now. I'll stick to kinetic blast for now.
hands for that. Oh shit, and the corrupted harvester. I even got a corrupted harvester. <laughs> that doesn't quite work. Okay, well, that didn't go quite as gracefully as I'd have liked it to. the other way back in, wasn't it? Yep. What an all wave transmitter does. Connects abilities, doesn't it? Yeah.
not a single item hidden off the, off the, these rafters. That's really surprising. Is it really about to be as straightforward as this? Right, so I can't, I can't do that yet, it's locked, okay. So I may as well use my neuro mod just in case. I don't want to um, waste them. Oh. I bet this is about to tell me I can't escape. No, I've done it. So I've completed all of the simulations. Congratulations, you've escaped the Pythias moon base with one Transtar crew member. Eventually, you'll want to unlock all five crew members and discover all five escape routes. Escaping more than once in the same run yields increasingly larger sim point rewards. Your ultimate goal is to escape from all crew members in one go without resetting the simulation. Good luck! So it is a really short thing, in essence. So I've unlocked the engineer, Joan Winslow. I've used the escape card, and I've escaped with a volunteer. You have a new incoming message from Babalisk, exiting simulation. We'll do it with another character, and then um, I'll see how long I've got left. Well, how far, how long I've played for, and probably should finish. Uh, no. Basilisk Chicago Module 13. Copy, please. Repeating. Basilisk Chicago Module 13. Copy, please. 
Ah, oh, you're okay. Congratulations. It seems the simulation is significantly corrupted, but scans of your brain tomography indicate no damage. The corruption appears to be limited to the host operator. No externalization, so you should be fine. We've transmitted an app that should help track the simulation's instability. Please install it immediately so you're not caught unaware again. Basilisk out. Installation allows for tracking your system stability while in the sims. This executable is flagged at high priority. Please install before re entering the sim. Oh, I have a new email. Just reminded to install the Civilic Track app that we uploaded. Crew members, you're not a new playable crew member. Crew members can be selected from the ready room interface for entering the moon-based simulation. Once you run out of crew members, either through death or escaping, the simulation will be set, creating a new incarnation of the moon base. Right, so does this mean that... Does this cl am I still in one session then? So she starts with a wrench and spare part, so 150 health and 50 psi. So she's got repair, some for it, and machine mind. Oh yeah, escaped. So I need to escape with the engineer using the shuffle to unlock. Starting point. Now I got myself in the med kit and a suit repair kit. Yeah. Bounty objectives. Bounties are an optional way to earn extra sim points. Each time a bounty is completed, a new one will be assigned. You can view your current bounty and objectives on your transcribe. So, kill a voltaic mimic with a shotgun. I don't have a shotgun yet. Not in this simulation, anyway. So, this simulation is the same simulation as what I've just been in. From what I understand. I think that's how it works. From what I just said, because I haven't died, I'm in the same version of the simulation. I think. So it's actually really, really short objectives, essentially, if you're not taking your time exploring everything like I was.
But I can hold on to say I probably could have done that in like 10 minutes. Don't mind me, I'm just eating chocolate. Tough, you're not allowed chocolate. You miss me using alien powers. Completing all items on the Chasm Orders checklist will fulfill your contract to Chasm Corp. You can view your progress on the Chasm Orders tab in the transcribe. So, what are my powers in this one? Oh, she has a lot more human powers. Repair. Impact calibration. Summon turrets. <sighs> Extra inventory space you have. <laughs> yep, you miss me actually using it as well. I just stuff it first. Yeah, so it is, so it's the same version. Okay. Oh, alright. Oh, hang on. Oh, we got chips set. Wait, corruption level one. What? Oh shit, so I should have left- oh fuck. I should have left items for her. How did I get up there last time? Ah, it was on this way, wasn't it?
I see him in there. And the ferret over there. Oh, what the fuck? That just exploded into an evil pool of evilness. Right, get away from it because it's going to explode again. So, etheric mimics go boom. <gasps> yes! This is VJ. Listen to me. You need to stay off the lunar surface. I repeat, do not step foot on the regolith. There's something underneath. I think it's drawn to movement. It senses vibrations. I can't kill it. There's a shuttle in crew, but we are stuck in the damn crater until we get the Typhon gates down. Round up anyone else you can find. Warn them. I... So I, it, I need to get around without putting my Oh, it's a moon shark. Uh, right, no, what it is, um, you play as someone in a little space station who's doing this, who enters a simulation as one of five people who are on this moon base. Um, you're trying to find out what happened, and you're experiencing a simulation from the point of view of the people who are on here. Holy fuck.
Okay, so we have a dead phantom. What I want to know is, can I guess that fabricator? Dead Phantom. Scanning target, no type of material detected. I fucking love um, turrets, and this character can summon them where wherever. I really, really want to see if it's possible to get to the um, the control room. Take extra damage. Oh fuck. Sprinting, jumping, and climbing. I need a coagulating gel or a medical operator. Because otherwise, I just take constant damage, basically. I can't jump. Holy footballs. I've 
put myself over here. Seriously, flush myself over here. Um... I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to survive this, but I can't jump, sprint, climb. Hello. You probably didn't see me there. Okay, so that, luckily killing things doesn't actually cause me any damage. I've seen that already. Um, but annoyingly. No, that's cripple. Okay, let's use. Oh, I can't even make it. I can't make anything. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I am properly screwed right now. I am so screwed and I don't like this. Corruption level. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. What? So the longer you remain in the simulation, the more dangerous it becomes. Over time, the simulation advances through five levels of corruption, causing Titan and enemies to repopulate and grow stronger. Eventually, the simulation will crash and eject you. Fuck. So I need to actually be super quick. Okay. Um. Extract the ignition. Have no food, 
No food and no. No food and no medkits. I need to be fucking quick as all shit. And there's a phantom. So that just resets. Oh fuck. Right, so you keep anything that you've got equipped, uh, like neuromods. But apart from that, the whole thing is... Alright, let's just give it a go with her. There's not much point in me buying a gun for her. Because most of her damage is done through the, uh, the turrets from the looks of it. So I'm not even going to buy that either. Alright, let's see if we can let's see if we can escape with her. My aim is to escape with her and then I'll probably end it. So I've had a nice decent length stream then. Right, so now I know the aim is you have to be quick because of fucking corruption, which you hadn't warned me about. We've always got to be careful about how much you pick up so that you leave stuff for the next character. I'm interested to see if the layout is randomly generated or whether it's literally just enemy and item placements.
Thanks. Let's just give me a spare wrench. So presumably shit's going to be different this time. Do I still have access to a map? Yeah, so I still have access to the map. So the map's the same. Uh, it seems like the items here are always here. Because that's been the same items. So I think... I'm going to leave bullets for the other guy because I have a pistol with him. Regulating gel. Ooh, glue turret. I'll actually interrupt what I'm doing to click that. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. I fucking love that meme. <laughs> Yeah, the, that Egyptian one was amazing. There was another one I saw recently, and I've forgotten what it was, but it changed the, um... It, like, it made it a wholesome version, and I completely forgot how they did it. Uh, 
Ah, bollocks, I've done it again. Leave bullets to the next guy. Uh, no, it was a multiple panel version. Right, I need to, I need to mosey quicker. Leave the shotgun shells. Uh, the engineering ones have fire. The science ones have the little... electric beams. Vital science critical. Fuck, this bitch is gonna kill me. one I had shotgun ammo. I was about to put it away. Oh well, no, just my imagination. Who, me? The bitch I'm playing as.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was about to explain, but... Can I interact with that from here? No, I can't. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Vital signs critical. Shit, I've got no fucking health left. Alright, I need to wait for my... Oh, fuck. No, don't fucking... Scanning target, no type of material detected. Come this way, bitch. Error log submitted. Come on. Right, so it's down to half health. Half health. Hang on, is, this, is it still alive? It's still alive. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Come on, come this way. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Boom, it's dead. You've been raided. Delay loop time. Ooh, trophy. I probably shouldn't try and activate the trophy. An abstract item representing a loophole in the system, which you may exploit to temporarily slow corruption in the simulation. Use this to buy time before death's corruption level increase. Well, I may as well use it now. Get that shit used.
I'll leave those spare parts just in case. Do not enter. That sounds like a challenge to me. Oh, I don't have a science pistol, do I? Wait, where's my... Oh yeah, no, but this, this is where I'm going to be going. We're going to the crew annex. By the way, I wouldn't call you a dumb fuck girl, <laughs> but I was going to point out that it's like, yes, we're on the moon. <laughs> and on the moon, we have the law of gravity. This is a security reminder. Typhon gates are essential to the safety of every crew member. If you find an active gate, please contact security immediately. Do not engage the bypass without proper authorization. Get some food then, you fat bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? Then, don't eat. I don't want you to have a heart attack, you fat bitch. <laughs> Oh, oh, I put, yeah, I fucking hate people like that. Uh oh. I think I've glitched. Every time I see you say chopsticks, I always assume that you mean like actual chopsticks. I forget for a second that there's a. You had to tell me last time there was a food thing called chopsticks. <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah. 
Right, never mind. We is dead. <laughs> So, on that note, this is where I'm going to end, because this is just a nice little fun distraction for the night. I actually, I'm actually actually really enjoying this mode. I feel like I'm actually going to play it. Um, so, I don't know whether I might um, do, like, a... What am I saying? A, um, an impromptu stream at some point playing it. it it's it's fun but it's barely just the same thing over and over again you have to escape and hopefully you don't die in the process <laughs> um but i do yeah like i say i am enjoying it um just save just in case so i think i'll um i may do i get an announced stream at some point just playing it because i am enjoying it however in my next stream on Saturday, um, I will be playing um, Dishonored uh, Definitive Edition on PS4, and that will be starting at 7 p.m. Uh, as always, my normal my normal time when it's uh, down to normal. Um, there's not much point in me longer advertising the uh, events page for much longer because obviously that will go. That'll be going away on November 12th. I'm still not entirely sure how I will deal with things afterwards. Uh, but until then, that's available there. And more than anything, I just want to say a big thank you for people who've been watching during Halloween week. Honestly, I streamed five days in a row playing different various um, horror games. I've also just realised I'm going to be playing two first person games in a row. But not only am I playing two first-person games in a row, I'm playing two first-person games by Arcane slash Bethesda in a row, because Dishonored is also made by Arcane and Bethesda. Um, sorry, that was just my, my brain ran away with me for a second there. Um, yeah, so I'll be playing that on Saturday. Um, and... I need to find a way to make my schedule available online. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll set up our raid in a second, but before that I'll just say thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for everyone who has been part of Halloween week. Um, yeah, no, it's more than just that. I use my Twitter and Discord to publish when I'm doing it, but the events page is like a static event thing that shows it adjusts it automatically to whatever time uh, it is local to you. So, um, like that events page, if you click it, if you live in like America, it automatically changes all the times uh, and all of that to fit in with your local time. It's just a nice easy way of doing it. Um, so, yeah, thank you everyone who's watched. I've had a lot of fun. I would do something similar for Halloween, uh, Halloween at Christmas. I mean, I can't do it as effectively at Christmas anyway because I'm not allowed to take time off work at Christmas. But I think there's also a distinct lack of, like, very strong holiday, Christmas holiday themed games. Um, <laughs> so it wouldn't work anyway. But I think I'll probably make this a little yearly tradition of, like, a week-long Halloween event, although I'll probably run out of horror games very quickly during that. Um, but I might be able to save Amnesia for next year, <laughs> if I don't get the urge to play it all in the next year. Uh, but yeah, no, so thank you very much, I hope to see you all next time, and uh, before I go set up the raid, I will uh, until next time, bye bye! And now you can all just chill out and listen to me looking for another channel to go raid. Let's see who is playing Prey right now. Okay, we're gonna check out someone called Sweet Axolotl.
Uh, they're currently playing Prey. They have six uh, viewers. Prey. They have six viewers. So go there, be nice to them, say hi. So go there, be nice to them, say hi. And until next time, bye bye. And until next time, bye bye.